Hi everybody, it's Crystal, and today is, I don't know what today is. <laughs> All I know is that, okay, today is March the 5th, and I am doing my two-month update on the boys, and my basically two-month postpartum update. So, um, um, let's see. Sorry, I've got little Ronan down here. He's sitting down here beside me. I'll show you him in just a minute. Um, so, okay, so last time I made a video, it was at their six-week, um, they were six weeks, and I had just talked about their month appointment, um, how much they weighed. They weighed Armor, which was our small guy, our little guy. He weighed eight pounds, two ounces, and Ronan was nine pounds and three ounces, and they were both were weighing, or um, were measuring at about 20 and a half inches long, so... Um, they don't have their two month appointment until next week. So that's going to be on Wednesday, no Tuesday. So, uh, I will update again next week on their, um, weights and all of that stuff. Um, I think I also mentioned in the last video that, um, the doctor recommended that Ronan have a sonogram on his hips because he was breech. Um, technically he was in the womb, he was transverse, which is mean he was sideways across my stomach. And when he was born, he came out breech. He came out head last, even though he was cesarean. Um, they had to pull his little ass out by his feet. And um, so she, um, sorry, my, my shoe is coming off. So she, my doctor, his pediatrician recommended that we have the sonogram done, done just to, to make sure that nothing um, was out of order. Um, and she said she felt like when she rotated his hips and everything, that everything felt fine. So we went and had the sonogram done, and she called me the very next day and said that he has some hip dysplasia on the right side. So we have to take Ronan to an orthopedic doctor and he has that appointment next week on the same day that they have their two-month appointment. He has an appointment with the orthopedic doctor to um, do another sonogram because that is a that doctor is more um, in tune with the bones and can actually look at it more uh, closely, I guess. And um, so basically they will tell us if we need to do anything. Um, and I know that sometimes if it's severe they will make the child, the baby, wear a brace um, to keep the hips in line. Um, oh, come here. Come here. Do you want to say hi? Say hi, everybody. This is Ronan. Hi, everybody. What's Mama doing? Is she making a video? Yeah? Anyways. Um, Come here. So, um, so yeah, we'll find out if we need to do anything special for him. Um, they may not recommend anything if it's not that bad. They may just decide to um, to keep an eye on it. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do some exercises for him. I don't really know what they're going to suggest. So that's why we're going to have the second sonogram um, to find out um, really what's what's going on. Um, so that's that. Um, they are, I, last time I talked about, um, armor and his eyes being not focused. Well, they're totally focused now. Um, so he's really, his eyes are pretty, pretty on track now. So I don't feel like I'm worried about him having a lazy eye anymore. I know I talked about that in my last video because I was born with a lazy eye and hi baby. Hi baby. Um, so I was just kind of worried that maybe he would have the same issue that I had. And the doctor, um, um, the doctor at the time, she said, you know, it wasn't really an issue, not until about three or four months. And if they're still having problems focusing, then that's when you'd want to worry about it. But over the last two weeks, they've like pretty much corrected themselves. So, um, I'm not worried about that anymore. Um, Armour or Ronin still has eye goop that happens. Um, we've been putting medicine on it. I did the breast milk thing and it doesn't seem to have made it go away. Um, so... We're putting medicine on it. We're putting um, like a, it's erythromycin, just a, like an eye ointment antibiotic. So I've started doing that. Um, let's see. They are sleeping well. They sleep, they don't sleep through the night, but they wake up. Like usually we do our, our late night feeding at around 11 or 12. And then they wake up around 3 or 4. Sometimes they'll stretch it out and wake up at around 5. Um, 
not all the time. So they, they basically wake up every three hours, sometimes every four hours. During the day, they wake up every three hours to eat. They're like, they're little alarm clocks. They know exactly when it's time to eat. At nighttime, they sometimes will sleep a little bit later, but not a, not a huge amount. Sometimes they surprise me. Um, so they help, yeah, um, they're eating really well. They're both um, much more alert and awake during the day. Um, they are looking at us more closely now. They are making eye contact. They will study us for a little while. And they look at me when I feed them. And it's just really, really great to see. Um, they are cooing. And they're making little sounds. Like Armor started doing this a couple weeks ago. But Ronan is starting to do it now. But they'll be playing on the play mat. Just, you know, shaking their little arms and kicking their feet. And they Armor makes this noise and it's like, ah! Ah, it's just such a cute little cute little noise that he makes and so now Ronan is starting to make his noises um, they're just doing really great they really are outside of you know Ronan having the little hip thing that we're gonna have checked out they're doing fantastic they're growing really well they're happy babies you know they cry and fuss whenever they're hungry or they have a wet diaper although, although Ronan has been a little more needy lately he's our drama king like he literally is the one that he cries the most or is the loudest when he cries and he wants to be held the most so it's okay though mama loves you huh it's okay so and that's part of the um for the age that they are that's kind of like a normal thing for them to to go through so um so yeah things are going really really well I just can't believe they're two months old I know I say that every week or so that I make a video and I know I said that throughout my whole pregnancy. Oh, I can't believe I'm this far. Oh, I can't believe I'm this far. And now I'm just going to say it every every week that they're, you know, a week older. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm trying to think of other things to tell you about them. Oh, Arbor today was laying on a little play mat, just, you know, flat down on his back, playing and kicking at the little mirror. He loves to look at himself. He loves to look at himself. Um, but he rolled over to his side, like full on onto his side, not like a half. He was on his side just looking at me and I was like, whoa, dude, where are you going? Um, so it's just amazing to watch them grow and see they change, you know, something little about them changes every week. And it's just really, really neat to see that. Um, as far as my update goes, postpartum wise, I am doing really well. Um, I officially don't have carpal tunnel anymore. Um, although I will say, um, I've been going with my centering girls. We go during the week and we go on a stroller walk at the river that we, we live by a river. So, um, we go along these trails and, and walk and, um, sometimes when I'm pushing the stroller and I, I don't know if it's that I'm holding onto it really tight. So my, my fingers will go numb in my right hand a little bit more, but for the most part I can feel my fingers now. And that's, that's so amazing. Who would have thought having carpal tunnel during pregnancy would have been so intense. Um, and then the only other thing that I have left over from pregnancy, like I said in my last video was that the bones in my feet and my ankles and my legs, like from my knees down, my bones hurt. They're just sore. I feel like I bruised my bones or something from the weight of pregnancy and just, I don't know, but they still are sore. I mean, as soon as I wake up in the morning and I put my foot down on the ground and I stand up, I mean, it's just, it's painful. It's so weird. It hurts more now than it did during pregnancy. So I'm thinking about one of the girls in my centering group suggested seeing a chiropractor. And so I might have the chiropractor come out to the house. She can make house calls, like even without insurance for like 30 bucks. She's certified chiropractor and everything. She's legit. Um, and some of the girls used her during um, pregnancy to, you know, adjust them and things like that. So she's very much happy to come and help. And she would even adjust the boys if we needed. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm doing really well. I officially started work this week. Um, maternity leave is over and I couldn't be more sad about it. I mean, um, I'm happy. I'm a happy person. And I'm not depressed or anything like that. But I wish I could stay home with them. I really do. I was never before in the, in the mindset of wanting to be a stay-at-home mom. Not that I, I think it's bad or anything. It's just that I never saw myself as wanting to stay home. But now I want to stay home with them. I want to stay home with my babies. Mm, bless you. Um, 
you know, not forever, but just in the first part of their lives. Um, so, but my husband's in school right now. So hopefully when he's done with school and, you know, is able to get, um, an awesome job, perhaps I can either stop working or, you know, do some part-time work somewhere. But, um, yeah, I, it was sad on Monday morning. I got up in the morning and, um, I sat on the couch holding armor before I left and I just boohooed. I was like, I just, I wasn't like sobbing, but I was, tears were just flowing from my face and I was like, I'm going to be okay. It's okay. Um, and then I drove to work and I teared up and then when I got to work, I was okay. And then a couple times I went to the bathroom Well, I went to pump in one of the um, guest rooms and, um, I got a little tearful. So first day was hard. Second day was definitely much easier. It's just you gotta be a transition of getting used to you know being at work and scheduling and all that stuff and sleeping and um, it's you know it's life and I wouldn't have it any other way truly and honestly I wouldn't even though it's a little difficult you know doing the working and and sleeping and just you know it's just figuring everything out again that's that's really what it comes down to it's figuring it out so um, but I'm so grateful for these little guys they make me smile every single day I just. I look at them and I, I can't believe they're mine. I can't believe they're mine. Um, and I just feel so grateful and so happy to have them in my life. And um, I started today, I am gonna start reading to them every day that I can. Um, and so we officially started reading Harry Potter. Today I started reading. Um, and I didn't start, I'm not starting with book one. It's just, I my favorite book of all time, well, ha one of my favorites of all time is book five, The Order of the Phoenix. Um, and so we're starting with that one because that's where things start to really get good. Um, so yeah, today while they're laying on the play mat, I busted out the book and we st I started reading Harry Potter to them. So I'm going to start, my goal is to continue reading. You know, I can read them kid books right now, but I would really prefer to just read something that I can enjoy as well. And, you know, they are developing their language skills right now as far as mentally, even though they're not talking, they are, they are developing brain wise, their ability to understand language and stuff like that. So I just figure if I read to them every day, then that's going to help them even more. Um, so I think that's it. Um, I think that's it. I do want to say that there have been a couple BFPs out there in the TTC community over the last few weeks, and I just want to say congratulations to you ladies. You know who you are. Um, I am totally behind on YouTube and video watching. Right now, my, I'm basically doing everything off of my phone. My computer is in our office, and I'm never in the office anymore. I'm just in the living room with the boys. So I'm actually, this week, I'm going to, um, probably tomorrow, I'm going to be moving my computer system into the living room so that I can be with the boys and still have some computer time. So I'm gonna to try to get back online and catch up on the videos, but I know that there's um, there's BFPs happening. There's some ladies that are about to, you know, have their babies. I know Jen Love, TTC, any day now, any second, hell, I haven't been online all day. She could have already had the baby today. Uh, I'm super excited for her. I originally found her on, on YouTube because she, was a girl that had endometriosis and so did I. So that was kind of how we clicked and we both got pregnant, which is amazing. Um, Kyle, T Kyle TCC, she's about to have her baby soon. Um, there's some transfers going on. There's some retrievals going on. I'm so excited for so many people in the community. Um, and like I said, I haven't been watching videos, but I have been scanning Facebook on my phone. So I see your posts and things like that. And I'm just so excited for everyone out there. Um, and of course, wishing everyone luck who's out there still trying. Um, I'm thinking of you, even if I'm not commenting or interacting with you a lot. I think of all of my TTC girls all the time. I mean, just having these little guys, it makes me think of how unbelievably lucky I am to to have them how unbelievably lucky I am that IVF worked for us on the first time I just am incredibly lucky and um, I think of all of you out there as a whole and just I wish you all the very best so I think that's it for my video update if you have any questions leave them below and I will eventually get to comment back <laughs> That's another thing. I'm behind on YouTube. I am so behind on commenting. Like I said, I'm doing everything from my phone right now, so it's just a mess. But, uh-oh. Uh-oh. So hopefully I will be, again, I'll have my computer set up um, this week, and so hopefully I can get back into that a little bit more. Um, anyways, everybody, I hope you have a great day. Little guy just spit up a little on me. Did you spit up on mommy? You did, huh? 
You did. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Say bye. Obviously, he can't say bye, but let's look at the camera one more time. Say bye. He's checking. They, they are getting so strong with their little neck muscles. <laughs> he looks so much like his daddy. You look like your daddy. Anyways, everybody have a fantastic day, and I will see you all next week for another update. Bye.